According to Wikipedia, the Streisand effect is a phenomenon whereby an attempt to hide, remove, or censor a piece of information has the unintended consequence of publicizing the information more widely. It is an example of psychological reactance, wherein once people are aware that some information is being kept from them, their motivation to access and spread it is increased. Yesterday, Charlie Kirk and Turning Point USA hosted an event for Donald Trump Jr., who was there to promote his new book, unironically titled Triggered. There was a Q&A planned for the evening, but Charlie Kirk had cancelled the Q&A after having to answer difficult questions previously. There is a lot of backstory, and if you are unfamiliar, Nick Fuentes, who runs a show called America First, has been represented by fans of his at several of these Q&A events for Charlie Kirk and Congressman Dan Crenshaw of Texas. Over the weekend, when asked about foreign aid to other nations, Crenshaw responded to the student, saying that he would regret asking that question. You don't have the luxury of the, the time that I grew up in, where nothing was online and we weren't tweeting and we weren't on Facebook and things like this weren't being filmed. You guys live in that reality. You and you're young and you're not he that does, He doesn't right like now. being you're on camera. Upset and emotional. He doesn't like being... Years from now, you're going to regret Yeah, it. he's pissed. You're going to regret he's fucking being pissed. on camera and saying some of the things he's that He's fucking saying. pissed. Crenshaw and his crew, with all of the self-awareness of a one-eyed snake, held an event called Change My Mind, or excuse me, Prove Me Wrong. At this event, people were heavily screened. People who wore MAGA hats, wore a crucifix, or maybe if they were white, they were not allowed to ask questions. You know, people who looked like they might have a, uh, an ideology that was further center-right than Dan Crenshaw, which means center-right at all. Uh, there's two Democrats right there. Let's ask. Okay. Yep. First off, I did want to thank you for your service, non-ironically. Um, I think it's a great thing that you do. And, uh, Congressman, my question really had to do with uh, liberty and freedom that you always talk about. How can you claim to be First Amendment and freedom and liberty and approve all of that when you paint two separate lines and label one group anti-Semites and racist, which is the tactic of the left, but saying that women are cultural? How can you do anything related to pro-liberty, pro-free speech when you are suppressing people? You've moved people to the front of the line. I, I, I just explained how that's not suppression, so let's go to an actual Democrat. Most of the people there were Nick Fuentes fans. Inevitably, more of them ended up getting to ask questions. They packed up early after chants of America First shouted them down. Peak optics on the parts of Charlie Kirk and Dan Crenshaw, whose responses have gained worldwide recognition on the internet. There are people like Cassandra Fairbanks, a center-left reporter for the Gateway Pundit, proudly promoting Nick Fuentes in spite of these establishment hacks. All it took were some questions and a little bit of patience, and they seemed all too eager to strip away their masks. Yesterday, the saga continued as Donald Trump Jr. would promote his new book, Triggered. At the event, the other two hosts seemed a little frustrated at the lack of genuine interest in their event. Almost everybody there was there to ask about dancing Israelis. Here are some of the clips from that evening. Oftentimes it doesn't make sense to do the Q&A. It's not because we're not willing to talk about the questions, because we do. No. It's because people hijack it with nonsense, looking to go for some sort of soundbite. You have people spreading nonsense, spreading hate, to try to take over that room. No, and that's the real issue no, in the room. because you're not making your parents proud by being rude and disruptive and discourteous. We are happy to answer a question. Respect the people around you so that they can hear. You don't play, you don't play by the same rules. Let me tell you something. I bet you engage and go on online dating because you're impressing no one here to get a date in person. 